you know, experts say that you should spend quality time with your kids. Yeah, but I think Tara Alexis Sykes out in Florida, she should probably ignore that advice. And that, not just because I don't trust anyone with the name Alexis, you know what you did. And yes, I'm talking to all of you, but also because this specific one's been accused of attempted murder and aggravated child abuse after using Roblox, of all things, to manipulate her 10-year-old child into nearly killing a two-month-old, and that's just the start of it. Now, based off of where this ended up, it probably won't come as a shock to hear that Sykes didn't have custody of her kid, because they had actually temporarily been removed from her care and sent to the Gulf Coast Kids House, which is a child advocacy center that handles this sort of thing. But during that time, Sykes used Roblox to maintain contact, and that's when, according to the Escambia County Sheriff's Office, Sykes instructed the 10-year-old to drown the infant in the bathtub, burn the infant with scalding water, and drop the infant on the floor to kill it, with them then seemingly settling on the last option last week. Uh, reportedly, the 10-year-old picked up the baby after he became fussy and was walking into the kitchen with him to find an adult before dropping him. Now with that, the, we'll call it mixed news, is that the two-month-old is expected to survive, albeit with severe injuries. But regardless, once questioned, this little girl made it clear that her mom was involved, telling police that she had actually done all of this because she was terrified of her mother and felt that if she didn't follow through with the instructions, Sykes would harm or kill her as well. And what's crazy is that things could have easily escalated from here because Sykes also explained to her child, quote, how to kill the adults the 10-year-old was temporarily living with by cutting their throats with a knife while they slept and burning their house by dousing bed sheets with aerosol spray and setting them on fire. But apparently this fucking horrifying disaster only averted after the 10-year-old doused the bed sheets with aerosol but couldn't carry out the rest of the murder plot. And so as far as where things are now, you have Sykes being held without bond and officers not expecting that any charges are gonna be brought against the 10 year old. And so I guess all in all, uh, I rate this story a Florida out of 10. I'm glad it's not worse, but it is a nightmare even in its current state.